I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how relations and functions are related, right? So we'll begin with relations and move on to functions now. As you know, relations could be represented as a set of ordered pairs. For me, taking ordered pairs is very important and easy. For example, ordered pair is x, y, right? So that is the set of these x, y's could give you a relation and from here we will try to see whether a relation is a function or not. So as an example let me take few set of ordered pairs let us say one is uh, 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 5 let's say this is first relation then we have another relation which is uh, let us say 1 1 and then we have uh, we have four four one okay we have seven one ten one okay so this is another relation and let me take one relation as one one uh, one uh, let me write this as four three five two zero zero so we have three different relations here, right? So let me name these relations as A, B, and C. Now all these three are relations and what do we note here? We note here that each element is X and Y. They have a relation, X is linked with Y. Now in the first relation, one is related with one, one is also related with two, and one is also related with 3, 2 is related with 5. In the second relation, what we find is that all the inputs, these x values represent the inputs, all the inputs are related with one output, which is 1. And in the last case, we have kind of one to one relation where each input is uniquely related with an output, right? So, so we have three different kinds of relation. Uh, we understand them as many are related to one, right? So, and this is one is related to many. Here, one is common. So, this is one to many, one to many relation. This one, we have many are related to one. So, we can call this as many to one relation. And here, we have one to one one-to-one -one relation. Now these are all relations, correct? So so all relations have some kind of relation. It could be one-to-many, many-to-one, one-to-one. Now what are functions? Now functions are relations in which input and output are uniquely related, right? So if, if each input is uniquely with an output then it is called a function right so so that is how function and relations are related so all functions are relations remember that now only relations in which every element in the input side is uniquely related with the element in the output side only then it is a function so every element should be exactly related with one in this particular case one is related with many so therefore the first one is not a function, right? So the first one is not a function. The other two, one is related with one, four is related with one. So each element is related with exactly one element in the output, right? So, so these are functions. So that is how you can relate relations and functions all functions are relations and the relations in which the relationship is many to one or one to one 
will be a function the others won't be right you could also see it with the help of a mapping diagram in set a you can draw your mapping diagram set a let's say set a b and c so let me put these elements here to show you the mapping diagram first one we have one here which is linked with one then one is linked with two one is also linked with two one is linked with three one is also related with three and then two is related to five so that is your relation a now since one number one is related to three different things it is not related with exactly one output it is not a function so this is not a function the other one here what we see is one is related with one right so that arrow shows the relation four is related with one okay seven is related one one and uh, also 10 is related with one right so the arrow is this side important thing here is each input has exactly one output each input has exactly one output here this input has more than one therefore it is not a function this is a function right the last one here is let me use a different ink okay one to one 4 to 3, 5 to 2, and 0 to 0. This is 1 to 1 relation, also a function, right? So these two, as you can see, are both functions. These are both functions. Since every input is related with exactly one output. Do you see that? So that is how from the audit sets we can figure out whether it is a function or not easy ways check the inputs if you have more links to one input then it is not a function right the other part we see is check domain and range in domain if you have less number of elements then it is not a function however if we have same number of elements or more number of elements in domain it could be a function but if we have less number of elements in domain than range then it is definitely not a function so these are different ways in which you could check whether the given relation is a function or not right so just check the inputs if the inputs repeat as in this case therefore since it repeats it is not a function well output can repeat do you see that so that is important to understand. I hope it is clear. Thank you and all the best.